Hi and welcome back. Okay, you've already seen uh, video one, so this is uh, video two. And let's get started. We're going to go into what uh, the flow bench numbers of the unported and ported version. Take a quick note as I review them to you. This is the unported version numbers of what I flowed. Runners two and eight flowed the worst, where five and seven had the highest numbers, so they flowed the best. So what number one, so I get number one flowed at 283 CFM. Number three flowed at 283 CFM. And number five flowed at 296 CFM. Number seven flowed at 295 CFM. Number two flowed at 281 CFM. Number four flowed at 284 CFM. And number six flowed at 285 CFM. Number eight flowed at 278 CFM. So notice eight is definitely the lowest. Number one is pretty low as well. And then you have your number five, which floated at highs at 296. Something to consider when you're picking out your intake. From my experience of doing some flow bench work, intakes on the cylinder head, I kind of come up with some numbers. Now, I didn't actually get the opportunity to flow the cylinder heads, but uh, I will share some numbers. Consider uh, what you want your total, you know, basing your intake to your heads. In a perfect world, you would probably want your intake to flow 5 to 10 percent higher than what your heads flow at the maximum lift range that you're operating at. And what I mean by that, I'm going to, I'm going to use my setup as an example. On my car, uh, with my heads uh, flow benched, uh, the max lift is at 575. At 575, it flows at 280 CFM. Let's say 5% increase over that, that would be uh, 14 CFM. If I was to feed that cylinder properly, if you add 14 on top of that, that would come out to about 294. So as you can see, some of these hit come close to the 5%, but there are ones that are lower. Now, not at not the end of the world. If you have a good setup engine, a little off, it's still going to be it's still pretty good because I've seen some that are really off, but you, know, you can do other things to make them perform well. So something to consider when you're gauging or uh, setting up your intake to your head, that's kind of a simple little rule that you can apply and then you can uh, do the math formula. So here's the big question you probably want to know, okay, does porting this intake, does it help? Because it's already been CNC port matched already. And the answer is yes. Um, I kind of surprised myself. I was surprised that the numbers were better than, uh, they came out better than I expected because I've done similar work on something like an intake like this where there's not a lot of restriction already and uh, sometimes you do work and you find out it didn't really make a difference or you didn't pick anything up. But in this case, the work that I did do uh, did make a difference. So let's, I'm going to share with you the numbers that I did come up with. So starting with uh, the cylinder runner 1, it came out to 299 CFM. Number 3 came out to 299 CFM. Number 5 came out to 309 CFM. And number 7 came out to 310 CFM. And number 2 showed up at 298 CFM. Number 4 showed up at 305 CFM. And number six came to 303 CFM. And number eight flowed at 307 CFM. So we averaged from five to about 8% gain, which actually that puts me right in the mark, on the mark of what, um, what my goal was to feed these heads. So after porting it, um, this guy delivers, will deliver enough airflow to meet the demands of the heads. So this is gonna be a pretty good balance setup now for me. Let me show you, I did flow bench these. Um, I'll actually show you on the flow bench what they did flow. It shows the video. So the next video is going to be actually, I'm just going to highlight, uh, I did uh, flow bench number two and I did number eight and I did number five. So you can see the before differences on a flow bench. So after that video, do stay tuned and go to the next video because I'm going to talk about 
what the areas are if you do decide to go and port this yourself or if you don't want to port it you can send it to me and I'll gladly do it for a reasonable price but I will show you there is that uh, you can make some gains in porting this so stay tuned and uh, go to the next video you can actually see the live demonstration of the flow bench and then go to the next one and we'll go through the details of where to make the porting gains